Guys, Kuzumar here, back with another video, and in this video today, we're going to be doing another 10 character splash page. Just like the other 10 character splash page illustrations I've done on this channel, all the characters on this page I'll be drawing today are going to be from various different series. And I don't think I'm going to tell you guys exactly which character it is right as I start drawing them, so that way maybe you guys can guess as we move along to see what character it is I'm drawing. And uh, if you want to shoot your guess in the comment section below, that's cool too. But like for this one, for the whole first stage of it, you probably wouldn't guess who it is, but very soon here, you're going to be able to guess who it is once we start getting to the face, and you might be able to already know who it is just by that ahoge right there and yes if you guys guessed emma from promise neverland you are correct <laughs> i don't believe i've ever drawn this character before and i have not actually read the series even though it's a series i really want to read because i know i'm going to love it and i haven't actually watched the anime either even though i know the anime has gotten some high praises so it's definitely a series that i really want to actually give a shot because I'm like 99% sure I'm going to like it. <laughs> but uh, in general, how do you guys, anyone who's actually watched Promise Neverland, how do you guys like it so far? But uh, in any case, we've moved on to the next illustration. This character is someone I also haven't drawn almost, I don't even think at all, maybe like here and there, but definitely not on this channel. And uh, this character is a villain, and when he showed up in this specific anime series, I thought he was really cool. And it was just like a super hype moment for me <laughs> when he showed up. I think I'll let you guys know what character this is now, even though I'm not sure all of you would have guessed which character this is just by what's drawn, but it is my daughter from Naruto. And it's actually been quite a while since I watched this portion of the anime. There's been a few times where I go to rewatch Naruto, and I typically end up finishing like the first half, but you know getting all the way to the madara part of naruto that that is um that is some discipline if you're gonna rewatch the whole naruto series all the way to that point but i think most people agree that the first half is definitely the favorite half amongst fans but i mean the second half is really great too there's a lot of parts of it that i like as well but i think the first half is just also really good and it also has a lot of nostalgia for me so um that definitely helps trump the second half in my opinion so i'm a little bit biased because of my nostalgia but whatever whatever <laughs> and uh with never actually drawn madara before i had never drawn his like fan weapon thing and i always wanted to draw that fan weapon because i thought it looked cool and uh for some reason i had this like preconceived idea of what it looked like in my head from my imagination and when i went to look it up so i could draw it here it was much different when i went to draw it than what i thought it looked like so that was interesting it's much less like an hourglass than i originally thought it would look like uh, yeah, um, uh, one other thing about this splash page is it's not your typical splash page where you try to create a really good like symmetry or composition of the page. This is kind of me just drawing characters in very uh, random poses on the same page. So that's kind of what I'm going for for these sorts of splash pages. All supposed to be kind of drawn on their own kind of their own little solo images on their own little portion of the paper essentially that's what this and it feels like a mashup splash page of some sort as you can see i try to give madara kind of like an action pose even though i can't do that to necessarily everyone on the page let alone some of the characters would not necessarily fit into an action pose per se it just wouldn't be in their character but um yeah, I try to give him an action pose, but if I gave everyone an action pose, it would kind of uh, take up too much room uh, for each character. And technically, I guess you could say I could draw them smaller, but then there, then it would be a little bit too magnifying glass feeling. I want them kind of popping off the page. Anyways, we've moved on to the next character, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna wait to tell you guys what character this is, because you guys can probably tell just by the first little portion of um, the head and uh, yes for those of you who guessed Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z you guys are correct and I chose Vegeta because I haven't drawn him in a very long time and I still wanted to add someone from Dragon Ball Z into this one so I thought Vegeta would be a fun one to draw out 
And just like on my last 10 character splash page, I added a Dragon Ball Z character, but that was Goku. So, uh, yeah, went for Vegeta this time. <laughs> for this splash page, I feel like I primarily focused on characters I haven't drawn at all, or I haven't drawn very recently. And I thought it'd be something fun, kind of switch it up a little bit with you guys. But uh, yeah, when I first started drawing this Vegeta, the head kind of was giving me some problems, so I had to erase it and uh, retry it again. But I ended up getting it to, you know, a level that I kind of liked. And to be honest, once I finished this uh, Vegeta uh, sketch here, I was pretty satisfied with it afterwards. I mean, it's not the best sketch ever, but I was happy with it. And um, I always have anxiety when I'm drawing Dragon Ball characters because... It's just I don't know exactly how to merge my style with the Toriyamas all the time, so I end up having to, I feel like, reinvent how I do it each time. <laughs> but as many of you already know, I don't try to do an exact copy of each of these styles. I pretty much just look at what the character looks like, and then I kind of merge it with how I would draw the character. So I'm not actually trying to copy the style of the series the character's from. Anyways, we've actually moved on to the next illustration, and uh, this illustration is from a series that I recently started to read and watch. You guys can probably already tell from that hair strand right there, <laughs> and if you guys guessed Senku from Dr. Stone, you guys are correct. But yeah, I actually really like this series, and uh, I haven't really been keeping up with the anime specifically, but I've read ahead in the manga already, and I know what happens in the anime. And uh, I mean, that doesn't mean I shouldn't watch the anime, but you know, I already know what happens, so right now I'm kind of, you know, taking the free time that I have to try to catch up on other series, <laughs> instead of, you know, watching something that I've already kind of read, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, it's all based on how much time I got, you know? You start running out of time, more and more the older you get. <laughs> uh, yeah, for this one, I actually had this in my head where I wanted him holding a beaker really close to the camera and it covering uh, one half of his face and then the other half just kind of showing. So it's like science and, <laughs> you know, that kind of feel. But also the fact that I didn't have a whole lot of room on this little right-hand side of the page up in this corner so i had to figure out something that wouldn't have been too small but just big enough i wanted to try to make most of the illustrations on this uh whole page kind of bigger but as we move on you'll see that that kind of backfires a little bit um <laughs> i uh, try to get a little bit creative with it once i start running out of room because i wanted to fill up really as much as the page as possible and try to kind of cover the whole page with the characters and uh, I remember my last 10 character splash page uh, videos, those were actually created from my real time videos that I did for my last channel and then I spliced them together for this channel as a sped up version. And it was actually pretty um, crazy to just do one sketch like this a day and all of a sudden in like 10 days before you know it you're like wow I filled up like this whole page with these characters. <laughs> In any case, we've moved on to the next character, and uh, this character is from a new season that is coming really soon here, and it's being held captive by Netflix for anyone who watches the dub. Um, <laughs> but yes, it is Zeldris from Seven Deadly Sins. And this is also a character I have never drawn before, and uh, I was really looking forward to drawing him actually on this page. And I'm looking forward to drawing him again because I have another versus illustration that I plan on doing for this channel. And uh, definitely going to be doing that soon um, with the new season coming out. But I want to do a Meliodas versus Zeldris uh, splash page illustration. Uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited to do that illustration as well as I'm excited for the next season to be coming out here really soon. Like with how Netflix kind of holds it hostage for dub watchers. I am typically a dub watcher when it comes to anime. If I have to watch it in subtitles, I will, but I'm probably just going to wait until the dub comes out to actually catch up on it. I don't know, maybe maybe I won't. Maybe I'll actually watch it uh, in subs. And I mean, I watch Kometsu no Yaiba all in subs, so I mean, like I've told you guys, I just prefer dubs over subs, but um, if I have to watch the sub, I probably will. One cool thing I do have to say is how Funimation, when they actually do get an anime that's like bigger or something, they try to do that Samuel dub thing where it comes out almost 
um, in the same time frame, and it's dubbed in almost the same time frame as the other episodes that come out in Japan, which that's pretty cool, to be honest. Even if it's a week later, that's still pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about that happening compared to back in the day when that wasn't even a thing that could happen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we moved on to the next illustration. This one's going to go kind of fast because I'm filling up small portions of the page, but you probably won't guess this one just because it's so small, but it is Haruko from Fully Cooly. But, you know, I bet there's a few of you that already knew who it was before I said it, so I shouldn't doubt you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Fully Cooly is another one of those animes that is, you know, a cult classic and is definitely one of my favorites and, you know, because of animation and also nostalgia as well. So this is definitely a heavy nostalgia um, anime, the Fully Cooly one. But we have moved on to the next illustration now. Character is from a series that I really liked when it started, and uh, I had really high hopes for it, and then it just fell apart at the end, um, in my opinion. Um, some people may like the end, but I did not. <laughs> and if you guys have guessed what it is already, yes, it is Zero Two from Darling in the Franks. I can't remember if that's how you pronounce it or not, but yes, Darling in the something. <laughs> Uh, I, yes, I did watch the series all the way through, and like I said, I wasn't a fan in the end, but I did watch it all the way through, because I really liked the animation, <laughs> character designs, and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, Zero Two is one of my favorite characters in the series, that is for sure. Yes, it is a coincidence that it happens that the only two girls that I draw on the page, right next to each other, um, both have pink hair, so that was not planned, that just kind of happened, and half day, halfway through drawing Zero Two, I was like, wait a second, <laughs> both of these chicks have pink hair, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, so that was weird when I was drawing and I realized that, but I also understand that it wouldn't have even mattered since this is all in pencil and there's no color, so, uh... <laughs> In any case, we moved on to the next one, and uh, this character is from a series that I hardly draw any characters from, and I recently drew a character from the series that this character is from in one of my recent videos. If you haven't guessed it already, yes, it is Zoro from One Piece. But uh, yeah, I don't really draw this character very often, and uh, I want to give him a shot on this page, and I feel like maybe I should give him a bigger spotlight on another page like this at some point. I feel like Zoro would definitely be fun to draw in kind of a, more of a center stage position on a page. At this point I was definitely running out of room on this section of the page. I have this little right hand side that I'm pretty much just filling up at this point. So I was a little bit limited to what I could have done with Zoro and his swords because I knew I wanted to fit in one more character. I thought it would have been kind of weird to do a nine character splash page um it just feels weird when you when you kind of read it <laughs> instead of just saying 10 characters but in any case we actually have started sketching the next illustration and you guys probably can already tell who it is yes it is inosuke <laughs> one of my favorite characters thank you i love you you little boar kind of sounded like i said something else but uh <laughs> In any case, if you guys want to help support this channel, help support my artists, you guys can check me on my Patreon, link in the description. I'd like to take this time to thank my current patrons. you guys are the best pencil shinobis there are, and help me be able to do what I do on this channel. A big special thanks to my Chunin and Jonin tier Patreons. You guys are the best pencil shinobis an artist can ask for. And uh, enough of that cheesiness, but... <laughs> In any case, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, like you see, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always, guys, hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.